Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Welcome to my free training on Alien Skin Exposure X4. Please remember to share this video, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alien Skin just released version 4.5 of Exposure X4. And there are some significant enhancements in this release. And I'd like to talk about those in this video. Now, those of you that already own Exposure X4, this is a free update to the application. If you have a previous version of Exposure, like Exposure X3, they do have a reduced rate upgrade to Exposure X4. Also, if you look in the description below this video, you'll find a link and a discount code that you could use uh, to help you further save on your upgrade. Or if you're purchasing Exposure X4 for the first time, you could apply the discount to that as well. Now I mentioned I want to talk about uh, some of the enhancements that are included in this update and I think they're rather significant. Uh, first of all, they've added additional freely movable light leak overlays including new categories of lens flare and haze. Uh, now when an image is in multiple collections, you'll be able to tell at a glance what collections that single image belongs to. They've offered support for additional cameras and lenses from Fujifilm, Leica, Panasonic, Nikon, Sony, Olympus, Canon, and DJI. Um, user requested workflow refinements that include no, new photo sizing options when exporting, new keyboard shortcuts, and they've added some, you know, the typical bug fixes and things like that. But one thing they did add to Exposure X4 in this new version 4.5 is the ability to apply a LUT to your image. Those of you not familiar with LUTs, L-U-T, LUT, uh, they're something that really has been brought over into the still photography realm from video. Uh, LUT is just really a file that gets applied to a video and it really could uh, change drastically change sometimes the look of the video and similarly you could take the LUT and apply it to now a still image and it will change the look of your still image now it's not to be confused with a preset although it does an effect of a preset it makes your image look different like you processed it and but it's all done with a single file and in Exposure X4 if you look over at the right hand panel, you'll see now that there's a LUT tab. And if we click on that and open that, you'll notice that it's it's pretty simple. There's a little drop down on the far left and you can see right now on this image, I do not have a LUT applied. If I click that little drop down, you can see that there's one that I used recently called Golden Hour. And if I hover over that, you can see how it really drastically uh, changes the look of the image. If I go down further, you can see that there's a lot. There's enhanced color, there's that golden hour again, there's golden hour and enhanced sky, hard black and white, orange and teal, um, saturate protecting skin, and sepia tone. And then there's utilities, uh, day to night, haze addition, and haze reduction. Now, as I mentioned, these could just subtly affect your image or they could drastically change your image. Now, my recommendation when you're using a LUT on a still photo, it should be applied early in your workflow. Uh, that way you could adjust around it because sometimes it does uh, maybe adjust the sky the way you want it, but it's not really adjusting uh, some other parts of the scene the way you want it. So you need to... Um, adjust the image from that point forward. So apply the LUT early in your, um, in your processing workflow and I think you'll find that it will work best. And really don't confuse it with a preset because it's really different. It doesn't affect any other slider in the application. So it's not going to move any basic sliders, detail sliders, nothing like that. It's just a file that affects the image. Now, 
If you look at this LUT filter category here, on the right you see Browse. And if you click on that, you'll get the Browse LUT window will pop up. And let's move it up here. And you could make it bigger. Just go down in the corner and kind of drag it out. And in this window, you'll get previews of all those LUTs we just saw. So if I want to apply, uh, you know, something like um, Golden Hour and Enhanced Sky, I could just click on it and click Apply and it will apply it to the image. Now you may look at that and go, wow, that's really overbaked. It looks horrible. Well, that's where this intensity slider comes in. If you take that intensity slider and just pull it down, you could just reduce this so it just more subtly affects your image. Something like that. There's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So you could see that it really is, a, I think, a great addition to Exposure X4. Now another thing you could do is you could import LUTs that you purchased somewhere else or you just created yourself um, with a LUT uh, application or an application that creates LUTs. For example, Photoshop will create a LUT or you could use Photoshop to create a LUT, but there's other applications that create LUT files. Also, I should add, in my marketplace, I have a lot of LUT files. Many of them are donation only. So in the description below this video, I'll have links to those LUT files. There's two different packages that I have that are don donation only, and then there's a couple other packages I do sell. Um, so uh, the donation only ones we're going to sample today. And the way you could get them inside of Exposure X4 is again, click on this drop down right here and go down to where it says import. So we'll click on import and navigate to where the LUTs are that you've downloaded. Let's say you got some of mine, you downloaded them and they're on your desktop. Now, I have them and they're labeled on one LUTs. You probably know um, on one photo makes an application that processes images. Luminar makes an application that processes images. And I have my LUTs divided up between Luminar LUTs and on one LUTs. A LUT is a LUT is a LUT. It doesn't matter if I say they're on one LUTs or I say they're Luminar LUTs. They're really just LUTs and they'll work in any application that will accept a LUT. So just because I call them on one LUTs or call them Luminar LUTs doesn't mean that they're just for those applications. They'll work for anything. There's 25 LUTs in each of these two packages, so 50 LUTs total, and they're all different. So let's go to the Luminar LUTs. Let's double click on that, and you can see there's 25 Luminar LUTs. There's 25 LUTs. So I'm gonna click on that first one. I'm gonna hold the shift key in and click on the last one. So they're all selected and we're gonna click open. And what it will do is now gonna import all those LUTs and when it's ready, we'll be able to um, rename them if we want by double clicking on them. We could put them in a new category. I don't want them in samples. So I'm gonna put them in the category uh, Anthony's LUTs, like that. And they're the Adobe RGB color space. We'll go with that and we'll click import. Now those LUTs are imported, see, right there. Now, when we go over to this browse, I don't think they're here. These are just, oh yeah, Anthony's LUTs, here they are, of course. So there they are right at the top, and you can see there's all the different LUTs. Look at these drastically different looks. Like look at this black and white dark days, I called it. Black and white structure, black and white textbook. Uh, there's a kind of a coppery looking LUT. Here's a gramp, or this one I called cotton because of the fluffy clouds. Um, this one is grandpa grunge, I called that. So look at, I mean, all these different LUTs. And these are just that one pack of 25. They're, like I said, there's two different packs. I'm not going to import them both right now, but let's pick one of these. Do I want, um, let's see. Let's go with this cotton one. Double click on that. 
that got applied. Now the intensity stayed down. I could readjust the intensity. All right, so there's before and there's after. So lots, I think it's our great addition to Exposure X4. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have links to um, the discount code if you need to purchase either upgrade or purchase brand new Exposure X4. You could take advantage of my uh, discount code that I offer. Also, if you're interested in the LUT files, remember they're going to say on one LUT, so they're going to say Luminar LUTs. A LUT is a LUT is a LUT. And they'll work, as you could see, fine in Exposure X4. So take a look at those. Again, they're donation only. And um, hopefully um, you enjoy using LUTs as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and share this video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, visit my website, onlinephotographytraining.com. There you'll find thousands of totally free videos and articles to help you with your photography.